a blessed Sabbath afternoon because this combination of visiting while sharing something that has the potential to change lives yeah. was very special. We did not meet anyone uh, apart from maybe a couple of people that were working outside, but just that gesture of leaving that book and the prospect of what that can do for somebody was special. So, yes. And the fact that so many people have come to Christ because of the great controversy, we are praying and we are sure that many will come to Christ because of our efforts this afternoon. Amen. How was the meeting? It was good. The people we met, they collected it. And some, just two, they, they, they didn't collect it. Oh, okay. Yes, there's two. They say they, the, one said she has her Bible, she uh -huh. reads her own Bible. Okay. And the other one said no soliciting. Yeah, dropping them off. Empty bag. Yeah, I mean, oh, one or two people met. They are happy to receive me. And how yeah. was how was the meeting with those people? Oh, good. They yeah. are happy to receive that. And yes. They say it's a great hope. Uh, and we have you will be benefited with what you are going to read this book. So they are very much excited. I met three people. Oh. Out of three, everyone said thank you. And one gentleman, he was busy in his uh, front lawn and he said, uh, so what the book is about? And uh, he said, can you tell me the gist of it? And I said, this book tells you what uh, the war between good and evil and it's good news for you. I hope you can read it. And he said, thank you. And he went in. This reminds me of my childhood days when we used to do uh, literature distribution when we were young. And now doing it at this age, Oh, it brings back the same memories and brings back the same revival spirit that I needed for this hour. Thank you. Thanks to the church for this great enterprise. It was a really cool experience. It was fun to be able to share the books. I was able to talk to someone about um, what Adventists believe in. And it was really, um, it, I felt good to be able to share all of that. I had the chance to meet a couple. Uh, I gave them the book chatted about some firewood they were uh, preparing and uh, told them they were doing a good job and I like to cut wood myself. And uh, she looked at the book, the lady looked at the book and she was pregnant, it was very obvious and had a t-shirt that said, oh boy. And uh, she said, well, my hospital is Shady Grove Adventist Hospital and I found that they are so nice there. And she had looked at the material and it was just a privilege to meet her. I said, well, is it going to be a boy? And yes, it is. I said, well, would you mind if I prayed for you? No, go ahead. So I prayed for the couple and for the little boy that was going to be born. What a privilege to be able to talk with people, encourage them, bring them some hope with a great controversy and doing something for Jesus because he's coming soon. It was a great experience to meet people at their home. Some of them willingly accepted and some we couldn't meet, but we dropped it at their home. And we pray that it will be of a great blessing to them. It was interesting that I also was able to stop a few cars and, uh, and they stopped when I waved and I gave it to them and uh, they accepted and then they were happy about it. So I hope and pray that It'll all go well and it'll be a great blessing for them.